Good morning, boys. October 9th. Just finished the fog weekend. Gonna try Harkening Hill today in Peaks of Otter. If you remember, we did flat uh, sharp top. This will be the second one I videoed. I did flat top one time, but didn't record it. All right, let's get it done. All right, we're about half a mile in. Takes off pretty quick from the little amphitheater. Not crazy. A few little switchbacks. All in all, not a bad hike so far. All right, here we are, one mile. Still a little uphill, but not as bad as before. Should be getting somewhat close, I think. Maybe a quarter mile, half a mile or so to the summit. All right, I'll talk to you in a few. All right, here we are, mile and a half. I don't think we've quite hit the summit yet, but I think it's what we're seeing in front of us. Those rocks up there. Definitely steeper in the beginning. I mean, it's pretty much uphill the whole way, but the incline is less the farther you get. We're 1.6 in. And we're coming up on the sign now. Hartening Hill Summit. 3,364 feet. All right, there it is, the summit. 1.6 in from the visitor center. If you go clockwise and go to the Jones Farm last. All right. Catch up in a little bit. All right, we're 1.8 in. And we got a sign. So we damn sure we're gonna take a 300 foot detour to go see Balance Rock.
All right, we're like 2.1. I don't remember if I uh, got on here at two or not. I think we hit two miles not too long after Balance Rock. Just coming down the mountain now. I'm trying to figure out if we're gonna take the trail to Jones Farm or back to the visitor center. I guess we'll see when we get to the split in the trail. Looks like some sort of clearing up here on the left. Looks like we're going to walk through it. <clears throat> so this clearing is 2.2 in. If you go clockwise. Wonder why this got cleared out. I don't see any other spots. Unless they did it for like a helicopter rescue spot, maybe. I don't know. All right, see ya. All right, we're about two and a half miles in. Just went along a road for a little bit. Pretty sure that road led up to that clearing. I don't know, maybe that clearing was a old home place or something. I don't know. But continuing downhill, still haven't got to the intersection to go to the visitor center or to Jones Farm. I'll check in in a few. All right, here we come to the trail. 1,600 feet to the Johnson Farm. We might as well go check out the Johnson Farm. All right, 2.8. How are y'all? Good. This is the Jones Farm. The plaque said somebody lived here until the 1940s. There we go. The house is two log cabins, and the log cabins are still here under the walls. Huh. This is the original one that the Johnsons bought in 1852, and soon after added that one. And eventually had 13 kids. 13 kids in here? Yep. Wow. That's before the dining room and kitchen added. <laughs> generation added that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's a lot of kids. Yeah. There were three generations that lived up here for 90 years. Because I had three kids and I know that was enough. <laughs> <laughs> But they're grown now. So. That's when they're best. Uh huh. Mm hmm. And this was 
There was a whole community down where the lodges is. There was where the lodges dining room is. There was a school and church there, and, and a whole community. And this was one of the bigger homes. And the ladies would come up here and quilt. And bedroom was upstairs. Yeah, this upstairs was girls' bedroom. Upstairs on that side was boys' bedroom. Let's see. First generation had thirteen kids, then nine, then ten. There were only two or three girls in every generation, so they've got lots of room. The poor boys, there were three beds up there. All right, stacked up. <laughs> they're, they're sleeping two or three to a bed. And did they sell their stuff for money? Is that like yeah. sell their um, stuff from mark to market? Okay, or? you continue the loop down at the bottom. All it's there's a sign that says this is where the Mons Hotel was. This family was here before the hotel. But the community grew up around the hotel. They sold produce to the hotel. Right. The kids worked at the hotel. Yeah, and the hotel went out of business because of the depression and the community pretty well folded and everybody sold out. And All right. Well, thanks for talking to me again. Yeah, this is neat. Yes. I'm glad it survived. Yes. All right, I'm gonna go back up this way. All right, three and a half miles, walking along the Blue Ridge Parkway back to the Visitor Center. I don't know how that's going to turn out in the video, but that mountaintop right there is going to be sharp top. We did that last year in the fog. All right. Right now I'm looking for a sign for some old hotel that was here. All right, I'll talk to you in a minute.